Hi, I'm Caroline, and this video tutorial is for my blog, Lipstick and Chiffon. I just wrote a post yesterday on Nolcha Fashion Week, which I did during New York Fashion Week a few weeks ago, and the key artist was Michelle Webb. Most of the designers that day used the signature look. It was a really bright, glowing green eye. So I'm going to show you how to create it into a everyday look. So this is how it's going to turn out. It's really nice. It has a nice contour, but it still keeps your eye nice and bright with some mascara to help define your lashes and a little bit of liner to help your lashes stick out a little more. And then we're going to do a nice pink cheek and a nice stained pink lip. So let's get started. First you're going to use the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. So what you do is you just take a little bit, you put it on your hand, I usually just roll it so then I don't use too much and then it'll last you for a long time. It's a really great product, it's the best eyeshadow primer I've found so far. And then you just take it with your ring finger, usually you want to pull your lid tight so you don't get any creases and you're just going to smooth it on there all over up and I go all the way up to the eyebrow. Next you're going to take a nice fluffy brush. This is from AOFM, that's the school I went to in New York last year. And with my Inglot palette, I love this palette. I use it for bridal, I use it for editorial, and I use it for runway. Pretty much I have it with me everywhere because it has all the colors I need. So I'm going to take this nice matte neutral color and I'm going to set my eyeshadow base with it. So it just gives a nice, smooth canvas, covers up redness, anything you might want to cover up on your eyelid to make it so that the eye makeup will go, up, go on a lot nicer. Next, I'm going to take this brush, which is slightly fluffy, but it's a little more together than super fluffy. And this is from Crown Brushes. It's their take on the airbrush collection that Sephora did. So I am going to take this color, it's like a nice cream shimmer, and I am going to pat this on my lid up to the crease. So the best way to not get a lot of fallout so then you don't have sparkly cheeks is to pat and then smooth once you get most of the product down. Don't just like rub it on because then you're going to have crazy cheeks going on. Next, I'm going to take the Corez eyeshadow that I have, and it is Cypress Green, number 49. So it's a really pretty forest green, or Cypress Green, I guess, since that's how they named it. Pretty much it's forest green. So, and this is also an AOFM brush. It's a nice small one with stiffer bristles so that you can really pack on the color. So I'm going to start in the corner go in the crease and then bring it down put it along the lash line I'm going to smooth it out a little bit just because I like to elongate the eye somewhat then I'm going to go in just a little bit not all the way to the inside corner so now I have this nice green so you could even take this look from day to evening if you wanted to darken it even more and just leave it dark so I'm going to go back with my brush that I used on the with the lighter color. Put a little more product on it and just kind of buff it out. So it has nice smooth gradient look on your lid. So it's not as dark. It's nicely blended. So next we are going to use a color from this amazing 88 shade palette from Crown Brushes. I'm going to use this nice light green that's right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same light brush and I'm going to go back and pat it into the corner and then along the lash line out smooth it up 
to the crease, but not totally covering that nice deep green that you just put on. So now it's nice and bright. So we're going to go back with the small brush and we are going to go back with that darker green. We're going to darken that crease just a little bit. You can keep your eyes open halfway because it's easier to find your crease and where you want it to be exactly placed. And just smooth it in and out. And then bring it down along your lower lash line just to add a little bit of the green down there as well. Alright. So I went in a little further than I wanted so it's easy to fix. I just go back with my lighter brush and then pretty much use it as an eraser. Then with this ponytail brush, which some people call it, I call it blender or crease brush. I'm going to take my matte shade that I used first and I'm going to just go and highlight my brow a little bit and just help blend that out. So if you get any fallout, which is when the shadow just drops down to your cheek, which I don't think I did, just make sure you brush it away lightly. And if you that doesn't work, just get a Q-tip and put a little bit of your face lotion on it and just roll it away and it won't mess up your makeup too much. You just might need to like pat on some concealer. Next we're going to do the liner. So you're going to take this angled brush, which is from Eco Tools. And this is a black liner from Makeup Forever. It's the aqua black. And it just, it's going to last all day. I love using this. And then I'm going to take it, start from the inside corner, and just bring it out along the lash line. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of darkness. Get a little more, and then just go along the bottom lash line just where your lashes come out. Not fully on the waterline. Next, we are going to do mascara, which is my favorite part. So you start with the primer, which is, this is the Dior Show Maximizer. And this is where you can make your lashes really nice and thick before you even put on your mascara. You can even use that as an eyeshadow primer too. It's similar to the um, NARS one, the effect that it has. The NARS one is just a little better. So then I'm using this mascara, which is the Bare Essentials Buxom Lash. So it's going to give really nice long lashes that are separated. So I'm not going to give myself too big of lashes because I just want my eyes to look nice and bright, not too overdone especially since it's for the daytime. So you're going to brush it on, start at the base of the lash, and then shimmy up. Do the bottom lash. If you're worried about getting mascara up here, always do the bottom lash first, and then do your top lashes. So next, I'm going to make sure I like my complexion, how it looks. I used this Dr. Jart BB Cream, which I got from Birchbox, which I get every month. It's a great way to sample a lot of different products and for a really reasonable price. And then you can go and purchase them if you really like them. So this is great, and it helps really cover up any scars I have, give me a nice smooth palette to then put my foundation on, which I used the Dior Skin Nude in 22. This gives you a really nice, it looks like you does, don't have makeup on, but you do, because it gives you a nice palette canvas to work with. And then I use my Bobbi Brown BBU palette, which is amazing, because it has pretty much every color. Those are the concealers and correctors. And then I have the foundations. So I use this on everyone. It's great. So now I'm going to add a little highlight to my cheek, because... Since this is for spring, it's nice to have a little bit of a glow. You can use, I mean, of course, use a highlighter in the winter, too, to make your skin look luminous and, like, the sun has, this cold weather hasn't been 
parching your skin and making it like a desert. So just brush it on and then smooth it out. This is the Bobbi Brown in Opal. Gives a nice, pretty glow to your cheeks. Next, I'm going to use the Orgasm Blush from NARS, which is one of their most famous blushes. Everyone has it, or everyone at least knows about it. I start at the apples, and then I just brush it back and down. And then I just smooth it like this, just to give a nice little glow to the cheek. And always do a light hand with the blush, because you can always just add more, but it's harder to take away. It's not impossible, but it's harder. If you do end up putting too much blush on, just take your foundation brush and just use the leftover foundation to smooth it out, and then it'll look more like a flushed cheek. So next we're going to do our lips. So I'm using a Dior Lip Addict right here. It's amazing. This is number 495. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the French name because <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> So, just put it on your lips, and it gives a nice pink color that's not too outrageous, and it'll be a nice moisturizing lip, too, because the, lip, the Dior Addicts are amazing. They're just ones that you want to have in your purse, so that when you feel like you need a little pop of color, or your lips feel parched, you just pop it on, and then you're good. So, after... Use, I use the Lancome Mineral, Ageless Mineral uh, Translucent Powder. It's my favorite translucent powder because it gives you a nice glow to your skin once it sets. So I'm going to set under my eyes. You do your cheeks and everything and your lips. Go through and set with some nice translucent powder especially where you put concealer and that you want that concealer to stay. And I like to use this little brush because it is the best brush ever. It is the Bobbi Brown Eye Blender. And the setting powder I used is the Ageless Mineral from Lancome in it's the translucent one. It gives a nice glow to your skin because it has sapphire complex in it. White sapphire complex in it. it sounds fancy. So this is the look. This is a toned down version of the signature look from Nolch Fashion Week. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if there are any other looks you want me to show you. Enjoy and be beautiful.